Today I want to talk you through how to draw this rubber duck. And this is a particularly interesting one because of all of the bubbles. Drawing all of this texture is what is going to take this drawing to the next level. Now I am particularly excited about drawing this just because I always like drawing really colourful things. And you can't get much brighter than a rubber duck. Now before we get started, if you want to watch the full tutorial on this, it is available on my Patreon, as well as loads of other colour pencil drawings. Every tutorial includes the reference photo, sketch outlines, details of all of the colours I'll be using, as well as really detailed instructions. I also have all of the real-time footage so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Check out the link in the description. All right, so I've already sketched the duck out. Let's start shading. Now, the first thing I like to do is get everything marked out with what I like to think of as base layers. So this is where I look in each section to start with and find the lightest color in each area. So on the bulk of the duck, the lightest area is this very light yellow. And all I want to be doing is working in little circular motions to try and get this to go down as smooth as possible. Obviously the main thing about a rubber duck is it is very smooth and we do want to try and create that with our pencil. So I'm putting it down with these circular motions rather than just scribbling back and forth and that just creates a softer, more even coverage. The other thing that I like to do is work as lightly as possible. Because we're going to want to layer up these colours, I don't want to be pressing really hard, I want to be able to put more colours over the top of this and then I can build it up gradually. You'll end up making a deeper colour, it will be more forgiving, it'll be easier for me and just generally have a better result. So once I've gone over all of the yellow sections, I then want to do exactly the same for the rest of the duck. So putting down a light gray over the area where the bubbles will be. Again, working in circular motions, pressing very lightly. And I want to be putting this color not only on the duck's back, but also all along the bottom. I then I'm just going to take a minute to very carefully mark in the duck's eye. Again, I want to be still doing this very lightly. I just want to get it marked in. It's going to make life a lot easier later on if I can take the time to do this accurately now. Now, it is very important that I do try and get it as close to the reference as possible. Because this is a man-made item, the eye is going to need to look as perfect as I can. It will look a little bit weird if it's a little bit wonky and it will look much more realistic if I can get it very precise. And I then want to move on to base layers around the duck's beak, this time working with a kind of orangey yellow and again putting down that base layer. So once I've got some color down on the whole of the duck, I can then begin building up the rest of the colors. So I want to be working from these lighter colors towards the darker colors. For now, I'm just focusing on the duck. We'll think about the bubbles in a little while. And I'm again looking at the beak, I'm focusing on filling in this brighter orange in the slightly darker areas. So anywhere that is, I would say, this colour or darker. And again, it helps me mark out what needs to go where. It means that I can mark out all of the shapes of the duck's beak. And if it's not looking quite right, because it's still a nice and light colour, I can go back over it and adjust what's here. And then once I'm happy with that, I can move on to the next darkest colour. So we're moving on to quite a bright red now. Again, going over any areas that are this bright red or darker. And then by the time that I've done that, I've got the duck's beak pretty well marked out. I certainly at this point feel like I would be able to go over the top of it with brighter colours, maybe pressing a little bit firmer because I'm confident that I've got it right. However, doing this has really drawn my attention to the fact that the duck itself is looking extremely pale. So I'm gonna go back over the whole duck with a brighter yellow now, but just avoiding the areas that are particularly light. So for example, there's a shine just above the duck's beak. There's a few around the edge around here that I just want to avoid. But I can still be working in these circular motions and still pressing lightly. I can then work my way, again, in exactly the same way as we did for the duck's beak, down through some of the darker colours. So this is a more kind of darker, earthy yellow that I can put in some of the more shadowed areas. So particularly where the duck is meeting the bubbles. And that's really starting to give this duck some shape. And then at this point, I would say that I've got a lot of the duck very well marked out, except for the bubbles. Now we have already got our very lightest base layer on the bubbles. What I want to do now is begin marking out all of the shapes. So very similar again to what we did with the duck's beak and the duck. 
I'm looking at my reference photo, looking at my duck and trying to draw in all of the circles. Now where possible, I'm trying to get them in a similar place, but it's not possible to get it exactly the same and it would take a very long time to actually do that. But what you want to do is try to as closely as possible match the reference photo. Now I would say that this is a very time consuming process, but once it's all marked in, I do think that that is the hardest part of the whole drawing. So I'll just speed through me marking all of this in. So then by the end of this, we've got all of the bubbles marked in and it's a lot easier to see what we're doing and what we need to add. And because we've now got that all marked in, it's really just a case of filling in the colors. So I'm noticing that where the bubbles are in front of the duck, the bubbles are a little bit yellow. So I can go over these areas with the yellow because I want it to kind of look like it's showing through. But as I say, this is made far easier because I'm really just going over the shapes that I've already marked in. And so once I've gone around and marked in all of the yellow bubbles, I then want to start thinking about if I need to maybe slightly adjust the background color. There isn't a huge amount of base color here at the moment. And actually at the moment it's gray. I think it needs to be a little bit more pink. So I can go over all of this with a pink and just begin to change that color a tiny bit. You can see that I'm going over where I've marked in all of the bubbles. It's not taking that away. It's just adjusting and changing the color, but I can still see everything I've marked in. And then I want to be improving the shadows a little bit so I can go over these areas with a brown, both around the more shadowed areas of the dark and again over all of the bubbles. A lot of them need to be made darker than what they are at the moment, but I'm really focusing on putting this on the yellow bubbles not so much on the bubbles at the top, they're going to need to be a different color. So now I'm going to speed through this as well. As I say, a lot of this drawing is going over the same areas over and over again, marking in the details initially and then gradually letting the rest of it build up. So once I'm happy with that, I can go over the circles and the general bubble shapes up here where I haven't got a huge amount at the moment, but this time with a darker gray rather than that brown. And I'm again working through these one bubble at a time, just literally drawing that one bubble. And then it means that when it all comes together, it looks like a realistic duck. And let's also go over these with a slightly darker gray, just on the absolute darkest areas of each bubble. And then from here, I am happy with the duck. I now go through the process of brightening everything up and finishing it off. So it may still look a little bit muted at the moment, but that's fine. We just want to go over it with exactly the same colors. It's all marked in. So I'm confident that everything is in the right place. It just needs going over and brightening up, really refining some of the shadows and adding more vibrant colors throughout the duck. Now the last thing I do when I'm happy with everything on the drawing is go in with a white jelly roll pen. Now this allows me to put some white dots over the top of the pencil, something that I can't do with the white pencil, for example. So I can literally take this pen, put little white dots on each bubble, and it just makes it look like they are glistening. It gives it that extra little edge. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw this duck, particularly how to draw all of these intricate bubbles. Now don't forget that the full tutorial is on my Patreon, so do check that out. Now as I say, the texture on this was particularly interesting. If you want to learn a bit more about building up other textures, do check out this video here. But as always, happy drawing guys, and I'll see you in the next one.